Jordan. Jordan. I'm Sierra Liggett, a wife and a mother sharing our story and journey. We love all things adventure, sustainability, and gentle parenting. We have a passion of gardening and growing our own food in the hopes of a more eco-friendly lifestyle. I share our story, vibrant photography, and tips all on my website at sierraliggett.com. We are staying at the Ruth Lake Cabins. This has been a little treat. We got a kitchenette, so we went grocery shopping at the market down the road, and we've just been making our own food, except for some lunches, and tonight we're gonna go out to a local restaurant that everybody has been recommending. Um, yeah, we didn't. I didn't know that we had two beds, so we brought Evelyn's little um, playpen there, but she ended up sleeping on her bed, and we slept on this bed. to show you a little farm stand haul. So we found some Michigan juice. Michigan juice. <laughs> it's by four blueberry lovers. It's strawberry blueberry juice. You know it says 80% juice but it's literally like 80% blueberry juice. Oh no it's an 80% juice. It's 80% juice. And it's blueberry juice, blueberry pulp, strawberry juice, and strawberry pulp. So I guess the pulp makes it not juicy. Nope. Cucumbers and Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. And I picked up a bag of carrots to eat. And Evelyn picked herself out a little apple. Is it good? It's half eaten, so I'd assume it's good. Is that a good apple? Ready to go swimming?
so now we're gonna go kayaking for a little bit and we're gonna switch over to my GoPro. Go under.
up. First stop today, we're seeing Bond Falls, if you can't already hear it in the background. stop for 4th of July weekend. We are going to backpack into a, um, it's a backcountry cabin in the Porcupine Mountains and we're going to stay the night there. We're going to, there's just like a little, well, there's like a 16 mile loop and then a little 8 mile loop and so we're going to hike up to um, Lake of the Clouds, go back to our cabin, and then hike back to the car. Do you see the shape on the tree? What is it? Looks like it's an arrow. We gotta go down.
Come slow. <laughs> you got close. You got close. So I don't know what it was. Maybe because I was already tired by the time we got here. This was our first, like, I guess, mountainous kind of trip. I mean, we've done a lot of uphill backpacking trips. Um... So I don't know if it was the temperature, if I was tired, a combination of things or what, but we were two and a half miles from the parking lot to our cabin, and that was just awful for me. Part of me thinks it's maybe like Evelyn's weight. I have a little squirrel friend. Let me show you. He's just running around the camp, like, looking at me. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if it's maybe Evelyn's getting heavier, but this backpack was rated for kids up to 50 pounds. So maybe I need to do some weight training, I don't know. But this two and a half miles was rough. So we were originally going to hike all the way up to Lake of the Clouds and then come back and get ready for dinner and stuff like that. That would have been about, I think it was four miles there and two miles back here to the cabin. So that would have been about six more miles and I just really didn't think I could do it. And Charlie's knee was not feeling great at all so we just decided that we would stay here. And if we found out that we actually had a canoe so we took the canoe out too, that was nice. Uh, we are at Mirror Lake right now this is the Mirror Lake cabin, the two bunk. It's actually really nice. We did not know um, how dark it was going to be inside. So um, you have, I, we have a lot more amenities than I expected, right? There's the outhouse. Um, you have uh, a table and two benches on the other side. You have um, a fireplace, more like just like a log burning thing to keep you warm. You have a whole like kitchen bench and you have cooking supplies, plates, cups, not necessarily going to be clean because there's no wash station over here. Um, but there's a lot more amenities than I expected. I did not expect to have plates and cups and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so all the cabin windows, I think, are tinted, which makes it even darker inside than we expected. So make sure to bring lamps, lanterns, candles if you want to burn something. There's one in there already. Um, which was nice. It was a pleasant surprise. So yeah, so now we're just relaxing. Evelyn and Charlie went to go find a stream to fill up a water jug that was left here, and we're going to boil that for our dinner. And I'm going to read while I wait for them.
Oh, got the wire. cabin here's the front door the little trail we came out of and immediately you see the wood-burning stove wood that's been piled up cooking utensils I think that's a little journal to write you know your experience and whatnot in some leftover brochures Two bunks. So many pots and pans, plates, cups, teapot, coffee press. It's the bench I was talking about. A whole bunch of utensils over there too. It's 9.48 and Evelyn and I are ready to lay down. <sighs> I went to sit on this bed and it is stiff as a board. Don't get your feet all dirty. Hmm? Bye Cabin House. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Uh, hiking, Mom. Yep, we're going hiking. So beautiful. Yep, Mama's going hiking too. <laughs> Is he kissing my head? little tidbit we learned about these beaches here there's a little log book at the cabin and everybody said that these beaches are full of leeches Yeah, yeah, the bugs are pretty bad here in July, but I was reading the journal book as well, and I've heard that bugs are even worse in May, with the mayflies and everything, so if you're coming to the Porcupine Mountains in the warmer months, to bridge, be sure to bring lots of bug spray.
no catching. You walk down. of this hike was actually not as bad as the first day so it must have been exhaustion or heat or something which is funny because this was all uphill all the way back to the car so time to return our keys and head out minor pit stop at this um I think it's like a campground store <laughs> and it had literally everything in it and so many cute things we actually got stickers for our cups here's Charlie's and here's mine um but we're on the hunt for ice cream that one was only soft serve and Charlie wants some <laughs> hard hard packed ice cream so Back on the hunt. I think I completely forgot to vlog this, but so we failed finding ice cream and just ended up going to Culver's. But now we are stopping halfway to home at Zodiac's General Party Store. 